Hello everybody! Today we're going to take a quick look at The Black Phone. This was written by C. Robert Cargill and Scott Derrickson, the latter of which also directed, and stars Mason Thames, Madeline McGraw, and Ethan Hawke. In Denver, 1978, a serial kidnapper has been abducting children, and young Finney, played by Thames, is his latest victim. He has to find a way to escape from his strange masked kidnapper, and at first, it seems rather hopeless. But then he gets a phone call. On a phone that's not plugged in. Nothing weird about that. I've known about Cargill ever since he was Massa Worm on Ain't It Cool News doing movie reviews, and now instead of reviewing movies, he's making his own, which is kind of awesome. It's not the first movie he's worked on, but it is something that he and Derrickson have wanted to make for a while, and I think it's something they should be very proud of. I will get my one gripe out of the way right off the bat. Thank you for the jump scares. I understand the point and the reasoning behind them, but still... Uh... Other than that, yeah, this was really good. And even without something jumping out at the camera and going, boo, there are plenty of scary elements in this story. Even before the kidnapper shows up, Finney and Gwen are living with their abusive, alcoholic father, who is a real piece of work. Their mother is no longer around. Finney has to deal with the school bullies, who are a ruthless group of assholes. And after dealing with all of that, he gets kidnapped by a crazy man in a mask and held in a basement. And as if all of this wasn't enough, as I mentioned, the black phone hanging on the wall starts to ring. The phone is not plugged in. There's nowhere to plug it in. It rings nonetheless. And when Finney answers the phone, shit gets weird. And I don't want to say too much more because I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say there is a bit of a supernatural element going on here with both Finney and his sister Gwen, and it's sort of implied that this may have been inherited from their mother. And Cargill and Derrickson told a very good story here. During Finney's various attempts to escape, there are a lot of elements that at first don't seem like they're going anywhere, but then towards the very end, everything just kind of clicks into place. And that moment when they do is just wonderful. Thames is really good in this. His performance as this bullied child feels very genuine, and I think it's something a lot of people can identify with. I really liked McGraw as his sister, who seems like she came out of the womb without a fuck to give. And I love the cycle of faith that she goes through as the story progresses. Starts out pretty high and then starts to get low, and she starts to question things as all this bad stuff is happening around her. I don't want to give away the opening line of one of her prayers, but it's solid gold. And Hawk was so creepy. He is almost always wearing a mask, though not always the same mask. It seems to change depending on what kind of mood the character is in. And because you can't see his face, he has to convey everything with just his voice and his posture. And the voice he uses is usually very soft and calm and almost childlike at times. And combining that with that creepy-ass mask is just so unsettling. He made me believe he was a deranged serial killer. Which is generally a bad thing, but in this case, that's exactly what he needed to do. I also want to give credit to Miguel Cazares Mora, who plays Finney's friend Robin. And he's kind of his protector from the bullies, because unlike a lot of other kids, he's actually strong enough to fight them. And there's a really good scene with him and Finney that... My understanding is it was not originally supposed to be in the movie. They decided to add it at the last minute, and I think that was the right call. Overall, jump scares aside, I really dug this one. It's got a well-told story, great performances, genuinely scary. Highly recommend checking this one out. And that's all I have to say about The Black Phone. Till next time, take care.